Hey, what's up guys? Mikey here. I don't know about you, but I need a snack right now. Something I've been really wanting to try are those Reese's Take Fives. It looks pretty good, and I've been wanting to taste those so badly, I could just die for one at this point. What? The Reese's take five. Where'd they come from? Oh, my cousin brought them over. To Mikey. Well, here you go. Well, thank you, cuz. Mmm. These are good. Dying for Pie is the episode where Squidward gets Spongebob a pie for Employee Brotherhood Day, which turns out to be a bomb, and Squidward does silly things with Spongebob when he thinks it'll be his last day. This episode aired on December 28, 2000, and is the episode that features everybody's favorite nuclear explosion, which is seen when the pie explodes at the end of the episode. This explosion was also shown twice again in future episodes, specifically in episode 178, The Krusty Plate from season 5, and 300, Frozen Face Off from season 8. There's also something interesting about that scene I didn't know until this week. This explosion is called the Baker Explosion, and it was a part of Operation Crossroads, which was a series of nuclear explosion tests that took place in 1946 at Bikini Atoll. And as we all know, Bikini Atoll is the famous island that is always seen in the theme song and is located directly over Bikini Bottom. There's also a popular conspiracy theory that all those nuclear explosions, especially this one, is what caused Spongebob and his friends to become alive in the first place. But that's a topic for the future. This is yet another episode where Squidward does show kindness to Spongebob. I know that I brought this up for every single episode where it's happened so far, but I mostly do it if it's a major plot point to the story, like it was in episode 10, Pizza Delivery, and 38, Fools in April. Now that I've yammered about that again, let's watch this episode and see that classic explosive pie. So the episode starts up and Squidward is playing piano on an island and is interrupted by Spongebob ringing the bell, and then he wakes up with that being a dream the whole time. Squidward arrives at the Krusty Krab, Spongebob cleans the window with his face, and Squidward ignores his greeting. Mr. Krab states that it's Employee Brotherhood Day, a day where the employees exchange homemade gifts, which Squidward wasn't too fond of. Spongebob presented his gift to Squidward, a homemade sweater that Spongebob made out of his own eyelashes, which Squidward rejected, making Spongebob sad. Squidward said to Mr. Krabs that he'll buy a gift, but Mr. Krabs said that the rules are making the gift. Obviously, I know why those rules are in place, but even if Squidward knew what to get Spongebob, how would he make it at the Krusty Krab without buying anything? Squidward didn't want to at first, but changed his mind when he saw Spongebob made a new sweater out of his own tears. Squidward still just wanted to buy something and saw some pirates loading a sack of pies onto their ship. When Squidward went to talk to them, the pirates said that the pies were bombs, and Squidward said that he wanted to buy one, but the leader gave him a pie for $25 with an undecided flavor. So is it a mystery flavor like a restaurant secret sauce? Squidward gives Mr. Krabs the pie, claiming he made it himself. Even if that was true, where would he have gotten the ingredients to make it? The Krusty Krab doesn't serve pie. Mr. Krabs wanted to taste it, but tripped, and the tiny piece caused a huge explosion, to which Squidward explained to Mr. Krabs. Spongebob came in and saw the pie, and that it was from Squidward. After Squidward explained what happened to Mr. Krabs, they ran back and saw that the pie was gone, and Spongebob seemed to have eaten the whole pie. Mr. Krabs thought that Squidward had killed Spongebob, and Squidward was absolutely horrified at this thought. Squidward wanted to call the hospital, but Mr. Krabs knew that the pie would explode when it hits his lower intestine, and that he's seen it 11 times before. Even the hospital couldn't help. So Mr. Krabs saw 11 people die from eating an explosive pie? Mr. Krabs said that Spongebob only had until sunset, and Squidward felt sadder than ever about what he had done. So he decided to spend Spongebob's final hours with him and make it the best day ever. When he talked to Spongebob, he said there was a part 2 to the gift and asked what the most fun thing was that he could think of. Spongebob showed Squidward a list of fun things and he and Squidward left the Krusty Krab to do those activities with Mr. Krabs crying. The first thing on the list was to show Squidward to everybody in Bikini Bottom. Was this list made with Squidward in mind? 
Because couldn't he do all this with Patrick too? After showing Squidward to everybody in town, the second thing was to do it again, but with Squidward in a salmon suit. After this, they spent the rest of the day doing the wacky, ridiculous things on the list, which included knock-knock jokes, walking backwards, acting like apes, trading faces, and open-heart surgery. Who is the doctor here? Neither one of you two. Later on, the last thing on the list was watching the sunset, and Squidward remembered what Mr. Krabs had said about the pie hitting Spongebob's lower intestine at sunset. Squidward took Spongebob to see the sunset and built a brick wall in between them. Spongebob said he'd be okay if he died in an explosion due to the carelessness of a friend, and then he felt the pie drop into his lower intestine. The sunset occurred, and Spongebob started to count down and let Squidward finish it. They counted too early and started again, but when it got dark, the explosion finally happened, and Squidward was sad, but he was pleased that he was able to make Spongebob very happy during his last few hours. Then another explosion occurred, and it turns out Spongebob was blowing bubble bombs. Squidward was shocked and furious to find out that Spongebob was alive. Damn, Squidward. I know how you feel about him, but are you really that pissed to see that he didn't explode? Squidward angrily explained that Spongebob was supposed to explode just then. Spongebob was confused and tried to do that, but exploded in anger about Gary! eating dessert. I'm surprised it's about Gary not wanting to eat dessert. Who would be stubborn about eating dessert and not dinner? Squidward then explained what he meant by exploding and explained how he bought the bomb pie from pirates for $25 without knowing it was a bomb. Spongebob realized what Squidward meant and revealed that he didn't eat the whole thing, just saving it for them to share. Spongebob then tripped on a rock that appeared out of nowhere, the pie exploded on contact, the live action nuclear explosion is shown, and the episode ends. So that was Dying for Pie, and I think that is an awesome episode. But before I sing my praises, I want to talk about a neat little experience that involves this episode. I remember back in the early 2010s, I started to go on YouTube on my grandpa's laptop, and this episode was how I saw Spongebob was the meme king of cartoons. When I went onto YouTube, I randomly stumbled upon a 10 second clip of this episode, specifically the part where Spongebob explodes in anger. I was laughing so hard at that part, and after that, I discovered other short clips of funny Spongebob lines, and that was when I truly discovered not only how popular Spongebob is, but how many lines in seasons 1, 2, and 3 became popular on YouTube, and also why episodes that came out during this time are nearly as beloved as the first few seasons. So this episode is basically my gateway into actually paying attention to the good shit I see online. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Now with that out of the way, here's the part where I question things about the episode. First off, Employee Brotherhood Day. With Mr. Krabs' rule about making the gift and not buying it, what was Squidward supposed to do if he didn't notice the pies? And even if he didn't get the bomb pie and decided to get Spongebob a pie anyway, how could he make it without the ingredients? The Krusty Krab doesn't serve pie, so that means Squidward had to buy the ingredients to make a pie. And since Squidward clearly didn't care about this tradition in the first place, how would he even make a homemade gift for Spongebob if he didn't have anything that was required to make that homemade gift? Sure, maybe with actual objects from his house, but I think either way, Squidward would have had to buy something, even if it was for the sole purpose of making the gift. So I think Mr. Krabs was a little too literal with the making the gift rule. Next, the pie itself. Spongebob seems to have eaten it, but later he reveals he was saving it to share with Squidward. But Spongebob clearly thanks Squidward for the pie, and later debated on the flavor of the pie when it dropped into his lower intestine. Hey, smells like cherry. Or maybe grape. Blueberry? And cherry was one of the undecided flavors the pirate said earlier. Cherry, uh, apple. Uh, raspberry. And when we see the pie at the end, it looks like Spongebob didn't eat it at all. My theory is that he ate only one piece of pie, and it was on the side of the pie that was facing away from the camera, so that's why the pie looked practically untouched when Spongebob shows it. Now after I said that, I bet you're expecting me to rant about why Spongebob survived even though the pie dropped into his lower intestine. But I'm not, because then I'd have to be pissed about Squidward surviving after the pie blew up in his face. Literally. And we all know that a kid's cartoon like this wouldn't kill off two of its main characters, let alone from a massive explosion. Now with all that out of the way, time for me to praise this episode. There are so many things I love here. I really like the banter between Squidward and the pirates about the pie. I like the gag of the kids throwing rocks at Squidward. 
I love the open heart surgery gag and the part where Mr. Krabs writes on his clipboard to watch out for Squidward after Squidward leaves the office. I also love Spongebob and Squidward's relationship throughout this episode. It's so sweet how Squidward was willing to go through humiliating stuff and funny that he let Spongebob risk the law by performing open heart surgery on Squidward even though he wasn't qualified just to make Spongebob happy when he thought Spongebob was doomed. In my opinion, this is the best implementation of that Squidward being nice to Spongebob plot yet and I feel like it's because of everything at stake. Of course we knew no characters would actually die, but I still love how the episode plays out. My favorite parts of this episode were always the live action explosion at the end, of course, and when Spongebob and Squidward explode out of anger. And let's be real, even though it's sad that Spongebob cried a sweater of tears, you just can't help but love that scene because it's a sweater made out of tears. And that's just awesome and hilarious. There's also a lot of details in the animation from this episode that I really like. I love how the shadows on Spongebob and Squidward get bigger when the sun goes down. I like how you can see the fuse on the bubble bomb moving. I love the space Mr. Krabs makes when he trips with that tiny piece of the explosive pie. And I like this detail of Spongebob cleaning the window when he slides his body across it. The latter is such a small detail I didn't even notice until recently. And that's the kind of attention to detail I will always love and appreciate. Overall, I love this episode. This is another great watch and one of the more heartwarming episodes of season 2 since Squidward was doing everything he could because he wanted to make what he thought was Spongebob's last day as meaningful as possible. But of course, we still love the live action explosion at the end. Dying for Pi is an awesome episode. I love the jokes that were used here, the attention to subtle details in the animation, and the overall mood and tone of this episode. Of course, I did nitpick here and there, but we all know I don't let nitpicks like that ruin episodes of this series for me. I will say I am getting hungry again. Eh, no, not those again. Oh, that's where I put those. I was looking for these. I've been dying to have these again. <laughs> 